surgeon gave me. <clears throat> it's really good for the pain, though. I'll tell you that much. It's good for everything. Do me a favor, hand me the, uh... There's a male figurine on the table with a cloak. And down my whittling knife. These are, these are quite good. Drives me crazy. Been working on this one since our wonderful trip to Dunstead. <sighs> I nearly forgot about Dunstead. You lot seem to get yourselves in lots of trouble, don't you? Well, in my defense, from what I heard, it seems like the people I went with had uh, already made friends beforehand. Mm. Just got caught going away by back it. to <laughs> going back to somewhere where you caused a bit of a fuss, huh? Well, tell you what, I don't do that. Hmm. I won't be going back to Dunstead anytime soon, at least. Probably smart. Yeah. <laughs> it's not fucking easy. I'm amazed by the actual artists that you see making statues and such in different parts of the world. Except the Empire. They carve humans all the time, which, you know, it's fine, more power to them, but... They always give them little cocks, and I don't know why. Do they? Not been to the Empire, no. have you? No. No Empire for me. How do you know they carve little cocks? Could just be stories. <laughs> I've seen them move into places and call it their home. What did you do before this, Arn? Blacksmith, just like my father. And his father. Do you teach you to swing a sword? Definitely very good with it. He was a... a guardsman. After he couldn't Panda swing blacksmith. at the blacksmith anymore. Hmm. Doesn't matter how old he get, if he just stands somewhere menacingly with his sword, you're still doing your job, I get. Had something with his shoulder, couldn't lift his arm up anymore to swing his... hammer as often as he used to. Could weakly lift a sword and... <laughs> Lied about that for the longest. So he got work. Mm. Lucky bastard. Good thing he never had to actually use it. They let him be a guard even though he was old and, well, not crippled, but. Take it. They let him do that. You just don't let them know. Maybe hmm. you just don't let them know. It's easy. You have to understand, lad. When people start to think that you're too old to work, they won't hire you. You still need to eat, you know. So you lie. Tell them you can do things you can't really do. And hope to God you don't have to prove them wrong. Yes, like adventuring into a crypt. Ah, <clears throat> uh, Like adventuring into a fucking crypt for her. Bloodthirsty fucking mushrooms. Yeah, so what was that about? Ah, they were ah. controlled by something. What did they call itself? The <coughs> elder something rather. Elder things in the dark. Elder things in the dark. Nah. It's 
seemed like something out of a fucking nightmare. Mm, fairy tale of some kind. But it's real. But that voice. That voice is what terrified me because we didn't hear the bloody thing. It was in my goddamn head. Everyone heard it too. I didn't hear it. How does that happen? <laughs> I don't know. Magic. Something. Magic. Like that. <laughs> as foolish as it sounds, how else do you explain what we experienced? <laughs> Magic hasn't been around longer than you or I, friend. In fact, I don't honestly know if it's ever been around. The only reason why I don't question is that fucking dryad. Hmm. Maybe it was the spores messing with our head. Heads. <laughs> Trying to explain the, the fuck. <laughs> The same thing? I mean... There's so much I don't understand in this world. This is just... Not very high on my priority list to figure out, I guess. That's why I'm happy to just be a fucking blacksmith. Simple work. Simple work, simple worries. I feel like there should be something more, though. Maybe for younger folk. Like you're supposed to be something? Be something. My boy, you are... <clears throat> never supposed to be anything. I don't believe in fate, never have. You either are something, or you make yourself something. <clears throat> what if you... have place to find ideas. What if you... That graveyard over there. That's a morbid way of looking at it. What do you do when you've spent your whole life feeling like you don't fit? You always feel like there's something missing. What do you do then? Find something that does fit. I'll let you know when I figure it out. <laughs> One of those life mystery things, I suppose. Not quite. Sometimes there's just a lot standing between you and that. That's all. Could be worse. We could have been on the inside of that cave when Mirandel cut that fucking braid. Oh my fucking god. He's supposed to be the smartest out of all of us. I feel like there was a lot on his mind more than he's used to. It was panic. The same. <clears throat> I'm only teasing. I know. Lad did the best he could. You tease him, but swing a sword with a broken arm. I'm proud of him. You, you do tease him, but you are the one to call for the cave to collapse. In a dead end. Right. Yet we survived. You should be glad that those monsters had the force of will to break through that collapsed rubble. Oh. I told the dryad I'd give them all my coin. They could just help Morgrim walk. Have you been paid yet? I don't have much to my name, and no, I have not been paid yet. I was told we were going to get paid for this whole thing. <laughs> Find someone to pay us, huh? That would be Fulgrath. I'd like to know how much was in those chests, of course. <clears throat> Well, from how fucking heavy they were, better be full of fucking gold. Hmm. We should have opened that third one and pocketed something for ourselves. 
There's magic involved. I don't think stealing is... Haven't you heard the stories? Cursed gold. I've heard plenty of stories of cursed items and... Well, nothing's ever happened to me. You have a habit of taking things, then. Oh. Just like that little adventure we went on. Just on a small scale. Hmm. Faces are the fucking hardest. Steady hand. It's impressive that you can. Something I have right now. <laughs> Maybe you need more painkillers. Take any more of those, and I'll be shoving the knife into myself by accident. Wouldn't feel it. <coughs> Aye, you're right. Maybe it's for the best. Hmm. It's impressive that someone who works with metal can be so delicate with wood. You're coming on to me, boy. <laughs> fine craftsmanship is fine craftsmanship. Appreciator of the arts, I suppose. I'm definitely not great at it, but uh, helps me calm my nerves, so to speak. I guess some things happen throughout my life, and they're like pictures in my head, paintings. I can't forget. Some of them I don't want to forget, so I carve them. And then once I do that, I can move on, I guess. <clears throat> Excuse me, one minute. Certainly. The fuck? <clears throat> Someone was calling me. Well, they won't. Came through a few times. I saw that. You kept me alive. Thank you. Thought you were gonna kill yourself. If I run around like that again, I might as well. Mm. I'm glad you were there with us. If that's any call. Fucking hell. No need to call me four times for that. <laughs> because if I wasn't, I'd probably be dead in that fucking courtyard. You would have joined the riots? But I wouldn't have been able to sit there and watch people get slaughtered. So I would have been dead. <laughs> well, well, I'm glad you're not. What happens to your house when you die? Out of curiosity. Some other, some other poor bastard walks in. Claims it's their own. Why, you wanna... Well, I've got a key. I'd look after it for you. You can off me in the night, eh? <laughs> I, I jest. I would never. I'm sure some people in the village would, uh, <clears throat> take that as a threat. Some people would take me walking around as a threat. I just don't think he means it. Somehow I feel like I'm a little responsible for all the, uh, misgivings you've been given. Some of them. Definitely heard a few things. Well, whatever it is, it can always be worked out. I hope so. Feel like maybe a bit of a bond between us after going into that crypt. <sighs> Trust in everything you know. 
Never had a problem with you. <laughs> well, that's good. Hmm. Honestly, I was surprised when you jumped down after me like that. Didn't think it would be you. But... There you were. You were one of the few that could see in the dark. I was just looking out for myself. I see. Necessity. But did you see that mushroom man go down when I landed on top of him? It was very impressive. I just wish you got the one that got me in the back, but hey, beggars can't be choosers, I suppose. Uh, can't get them all. Yeah. We got quite a few, though. Oh, yes. I'd like a medal or two for what happened down there. A medal? I'd just like some coin. Maybe, uh... Check that out, and ah, they won't. They won't accept a stupid elf like me, you know, going into the castle and asking for some higher up lord or something to see what our funds are doing. I'm pretty sure Mirren knows about to have a meeting with Fulgrid. From uh, what I heard. Hmm. Maybe I should find him. Yes, he's probably wondering where you are. He's always keeping an eye on your back. Yes. I was his walking stick for a day once. We have matching scars now. <laughs> nice. I'll um, come back and check on you later on. I'll see if I can get some sort of food. If you're asleep, I'll leave it by the... Okay. I don't think it's going to get much better than that. That looks fine. It's all about practice, isn't it? What is this? As you look at it, you'll see it's a drow wearing Mirandel's shitty little cloak from what you wore in Dunstead Keep. It's very rough, the features are awful, and the eyes look nothing like yours. But it is carved. For now, though, I need to get some sleep. My body is killing me. Rest well. Of course. And, uh, if you ever need help, Avon, let me know. I will. <clears throat> Come, Kyla. Let the old man rest. Yeah. I'll leave it here for safekeeping. It's up to you, boy. It's yours after all. <sighs> Rest well, friend. Thank you. For everything. Of course. Stay out of trouble, Carla. I try my best. <laughs> <laughs> Still storming. Of course. To wash the blood away from the courtyard. <clears throat> yes. I wonder if the shit the is around. I know you have no shoes and you don't know what's about, but where's your honor? Mine, uh, many yeah. mile. Scribe. No. Okay. Oh, that's who I'm looking for. He's not my owner, by the way. Is he just your boss then? Yes, I'm his ward. I he may be a drought, means. but he's not a slave. Oh, I suppose. Well, means he's apology. taking care of you. That's understandable. Common misconception. There's no ill will. <laughs> have you uh, checked in his scribery? Uh, I have, he was there. Okay. I check inside the infirmary, wasn't there? We have a missing mirror, though. There's an audience with the king. <laughs> Come on. Should check near any bridges. You need to go the... help that fucking hunter, you fucking coward. What? What, what the fuck's happening? Okay, He's being attacked. Oh, come along then. The, 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 Little green men with swords and black the... dogs. I don't know what the fuck that is, but I swear to you, it's not good. Excuse and me. it's heading this way. It's on the main path. Little green men. 
Oh, I don't okay, fucking know. Okay, let's... Hey. Okay, green cool. men, little green men. Okay. You're not allowed in here, Drow. Yes, both. We'll have to see Miranda the scribe. And with her. And with him. You're lucky she vouches for you. Let's go check this out. See what it's all about. We can't be looking for every call afternoon. How about I go check it out? Or report it to someone else. I would do it. Afternoon. Everything okay? Oh. Not really. What's going on? I need to talk to Cat about something. Oh. It's the scribe. I think he's got the plague, that one. He was coughing a little earlier. Oh, there you are. Tyler, how are you? <laughs> well... Your, your project is uh, about done, if you want. Come with me, we Great. can fit it. In a moment, perhaps. Right. How's your leg? Mm, I can limp, but it's very painful. I see. I heard you were uh, about to have a is meeting. Is all right? Yeah, he's resting right now. He seems... Lively enough. The gods almost called them away to go do a wap. Like they find that imbalance so somebody else can take care of it. Mm. I heard you're wow. having a meeting, so I decided to come with you in I case. I am, eh? Is a meeting? I suppose it's... Uh, did you hear about it? Is it going on right now? Do I need to go up there? I heard you were in the meeting, so I came to find you. No. Oh, I was not in a meeting yet. No, but Arn mentioned something cat? about like green and he's now asleep, and so dogs mm, I haven't. Hmm? Oh, goblins! Have, have you seen the captain? Goblin. I'm glad that you're all right, Kyla. Yeah, right uh, well, as good as you can be in captain, your current state. There's something about like little green men and black dogs uh, attacking people on the main path. <laughs> what? Excuse me, man. Actually, shouldn't you be uh, headed back out? So, you know. Yes. Here's your repairs. Thank you. Your boots. Actually, this might be good timing. The... Um, Kyla, would you mind coming with me? Um, sure. Do you mind if we meet back at your shop? Sure thing. Seems just I'll be with you shortly. <laughs> the hell happened to you? Oh, right, right. Thank you. Well, the reason I brought you here, and maybe you won't think this is appropriate given the circumstances, but I figure you deserve a break or something nice. I wanted to give this to you sooner, but I had no idea that your birthday was yesterday until the day came itself. No. I wanted to get you fitted for, um, some boots, something that can protect your legs a little bit better than that cloth of rags. Oh. Um, you sure? I can't imagine that'd be cheap. Well, if it means keeping you from getting slashed on the legs and slowing us all down again, well, then I suppose no price is too expensive. <laughs> uh. 
Okay, um... What do I do? Well, um, the cobbler will take it from here, I suppose. Hmm? Right. Alright, so, you're a friend of Mirren's. Or rather, you work for Mirren, so... Oh, nice. And do be careful, he's got a quite nasty cut. Yeah, I did. Oh. oh, sorry about that. You're okay. Right. Right, I got your sight. How there. thorough were you with touching his feet? Or were you just kind of holding it? That's kind of like... Yeah. Did you get... Oh, nice. Chat, roll a d20. You wanted something more... Party in defense for the young lad, right? Oh, ask him. Oh, what kind of boots did you want? Something um, more hardy? As you were touching around his feet, you feel something in his foot wraps. Stuff like that. Um, something light, perhaps. Um, something. I don't prefer heavier things. Like I can move quickly and quietly with. Okay. Perhaps. A higher up, maybe, so I can. More protection. Yeah. Oh, and on the, definitely work with that. the left boot on the left hand side, I need a small cut. Small cut. What? Okay. About, yeah. Sure thing. I can definitely work with that. Right, it'll take some time, but I'll go ahead and get them ready. Get them made. Okay. Right. I'll handle the cost. Oh, your repair. Repairs uh, for all P17. They're really good. Right. right. Thank you for these boots. Right. Right. I'll go ahead and get to work. Thank you. Right, Colin, let's leave the man to his business. Oh. Sorry, my head was hurting. No problem. Are you sure about this? I... Well, absolutely. How are you going to clean the top shelves if you only have one leg? Badly. <laughs> are you hungry? <laughs> Everyone's hungry, Mirandel. Of course. Let's find the cook. See if I can't get a, a meal for us. Speaking of which... There goes the cook right there. Speaking of the cook... Back to the infirmary. Ewan, <laughs> don't worry about me. How are you doing? What? What? Fortunately, I'm not worried for more than just. Um... What? My eyes up here, friend. He, I. Yes. Excuse us, um, we are... <clears throat> oh, what, have you CV, talked uh... to uh, the advisor at all yet? No, I haven't. <sighs> Is he in? It's... I don't know, I was, I was just looking to see if... I need to pay for all these repairs I'm getting to my clothing and that, so... I need to look at a coin. Right. Right. I will... Let you know when I have his ear. Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> anyway, we are. Well, there goes the man we were looking for. I suppose we'll have to eat within a little while. <laughs> he seems busy. Well, everyone's busy. You just have to catch them in the midst of them being busy. Right. My God, Larry, you're right. 
I'm... Ow. Um, I'm okay. I'm just a little sore. I'm pretty hopped up on pain medication right now, so I'm feeling okay. For now. Let's see. <clears throat> Excuse me, I think I have some kind of catch in my throat. I must have oh. caught something while we were in the caves, all dank yes. and musty down there. So much dust as well. <clears throat> yes. No. Maybe we can get something from the uh, pot carry for that cough. Perhaps. I'll have to give her a visit. Well, I don't want to catch too much of a cold standing out in the rain, so... Perhaps I'll take some shelter. Very good. Well, let's have a talk later. Yes, yes, of course. Let's continue. Um... I need to pick something up from the seamstress. I won't make you climb all those stairs, so I'll be back. I'd rather not be in the I'd rain. <laughs> Yes, well, of course, come into the building. Are we gonna talk about that, yeah, or...? Upstairs. Thank you. Mm, no. What are those squeals on his chest? You don't read Elvish, do you? <clears throat> oh. No. The squiggles? Well, of course you wouldn't, so you don't know how to read. Is that what the squiggles were? It's nothing. Tattoos. Something that from his past life. It's nothing really. Okay. I'll be back. Excuse me. You know we can get some water. Oh. So if it's alive. That's good. Right, I need to go to the seamstress. I'm gonna take a seat. Sarah? Alright. This is what I can Hi. try and do from you. Okay. Get paid some water. Of course, go ahead. Oh my god, your leg. Yep. I'll be right back. Yay! Yeah, I'm pretty hopped up on pain meds right now, so I'll be okay. The high guards are coming. Better close the door. Royal guard, open. Yes. Describe. I'm requested to bring him to advise of Fulgrith at once. He's currently with the seamstress upstairs. Very well. Thank you for your time. <coughs> the stairs with us. Thank you for your time, seamstress. I'm coming. She's right. You should, uh, I need to get water. <laughs> Goblins are attacking Castle Ledford as we speak. Many have died, many are wounded. Sir? <laughs> acting on behalf of the master. Uh, Kyla, it's all right. I need to go have a chat with. You sure I shouldn't accompany you, sir? You hold your things.
Chat, roll a d20. Just the, the guard captain already knows about the goblins. I, he knows about I, the second party. He knows everything right now. So it's something for a poison that they, that they all, that they all have. If in any case, I'll have a mixture ready for when the time comes. Aye, but Morgan says they sh uh, smear excrement and whatever toxins they can find on in it. Okay. Okay. I'll be okay, Kyler. All right. Yeah, I'll be okay. With the with the with the actual <laughs> knight here, I actually now feel a little bit more protected than any of the guardsmen ever would. Hey, Sergeant, your patient has stabilized for now, but he will need help from the dryad before the end of the day, or he may not make it. <sighs> I have to find the dryad. <laughs> They went down to the tavern. <laughs> if they haven't informed Ian Dill about the current condition of the <coughs> they need to know. I'm going down there myself uh, immediately. <laughs> See if I can get some more bandages. The nurse's fate will be decided. Oh shit! <clears throat> Ooh, spooky the DM avatar. consciousness, but is unable to get up. <sighs> spooky DM avatar. <clears throat> Kyler. Okay. Don't step on the blood. I'm fine. There's just so much of it. The rain's washed the most of it away, but it's a lot worse. This place is. It was your property. I drink this. Oh, wow. have, uh... Do you want not to or not? I'm sorry I vanished from the both of you. 
You're more conscious than him at the moment. No. What the fuck happened? When? I stayed in the caves a little longer. I did not want to come out. Well, we got out after everything happened. Apparently there was a... Some sort of rebellion or a coup or something and... Peasants were getting hungry. Armed themselves. One of them killed a guard and then it all just spiraled out from there from what I heard. Got into the courtyard, held oh, it for a while. Them. Sacked all the houses. Guards came out, killed them all. Hence the blood. I'm glad. One less fucking guard to worry about. The only guards I regret dying. That I've seen in this place. <coughs> are the guards that went with us into the crypts. Those are the only ones that gave their life anything meaningful. One of them told me they were going to no, vouch for me. Holgrith is here. He's speaking to Mirandel now. You think he's gonna kill him? No, they're talking about the events that took place down there. <laughs> Hopefully to get our payment too. We should have taken that gold and ran all of us. <coughs> Guards were waiting for right? us outside the cave. We wouldn't have gotten far. I'm okay, what? just... Like they knew when we were coming back? They were there, I don't know. They took all our weapons and things and... chests. Greed is disgusting. Oh, you made it too, didn't you, little man? Say again, Morgrim. I'm alive. <laughs> it's a shocker, really. Last time I saw you, you were a pancake. You should be grateful to whatever gods you worship. They obviously care about you. It's not the gods that helped me. Was you too, and Bela who carried me. Everyone in that cave. I'm glad to see the young man alive. Where is he? I can't see him. The courier. Where is Cade? I don't know. He's. Making noises at least, and he's drinking water, so he's conscious. I'm not a doctor. I don't know how to take care of people. The only thing I see on him are injuries. <coughs> it's going to be alright. The moment he's better, we can talk about getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> Preferably before everyone starts hey, killing each other in the streets again. Put your arms down. <laughs> Holding it's not going to do anything. Give me this. How far is it from here? Down. Bloody hell, if I know. I don't know. It's I know it's Steve. She got fucked up. I need to rest. Something in it. What do you mean? Aches. Grab the surgeon. Walk, I'll help you find the girl. Please. You look like you've seen a better day. <coughs> Stay here. 
There's no condition for you to help. Surgeon. What can I do for you, Lloyd? My owner is he right? experiencing uncomfortable pain in his back. There's a stinging sensation as if something is in there. Guardsmen, please wait outside. I will be with you in a moment. I have to take care of some. I have to take care of someone's back before I do anything. Please, a moment. Right. At the door. Let us know. <laughs> but of course. It's <coughs> okay, Kane. They're coming. We'll fix your back. What happened to you? Then you can get back to try telling the cat. I asked the cat. I need water too. What happened? Are you here? What happened in the court? Drow, can you please help me sit him down? Which one? <laughs> Me. Whoops him up. Come on! <laughs> I finally reached a boiling point. Okay. If he looks under the uh, bandaging, the uh, stab wound on his back, uh, there's lots of melted flesh and what appears to be. Uh, Almost like a branded crest of some so kind. As I could tell, one of the guards got but it's all it's melted fuck? flesh. Oh no. I know what that is. Don't mind it. That's, that's Tang's well, mark. He would have died without it. Just try to preserve the flesh as much as possible if you can. It's the only thing keeping all that blood in. I've got just the thing. I'm sorry, Kate. Explain the entrance from what I hear that it's just now apparently the guards were awaiting a exit. Yeah. Insofar as I know, I didn't know how many guards died. Uh, apparently the old fort uh, village was dead. That's almost half the damn town. What was that? Alright. Now I'd explain why the guards attacked. A remedy. Something to help I've ease with you. the pain. Now I'm gonna to have to I make a cloth, to cloth, cloth uh, have, have a mixture be spread all over it for his back. I'll need to have him be sat up again once I have back up one more time, but just lay there for a second. Hold on. I can't lift you by myself. Meat sack. Emotions. Tired. Under the weather, but there was a voice. I didn't get hurt. Not except for that nasty bite on my ankle, but I don't even think I don't even think it's going to leave a scar. Give me something to lay my head on, please. There we go. I is a grown man. If he needs tending, he'll ask. All right. Here we are. Lift him up a little bit. Now, yeah, but the old fucked up way worse than him. Go ahead, surgeon. And now for cloth. It has that special mixture absorbed in it. There we are. It's going to feel weird. You're going to feel dizzy. You're not going to worry. Yeah, lay back down. You're going to rest on top of that. I'll make sure he doesn't jostle it out of place. Please do, Joe. As for me, I have my own things to attend to. Thank you. Something that I feel like would be really stupid. Well, don't die. We all die. If you notice our patient's condition is worsening. You must hurry. Have you drink any water? No one is to miss. Just a little bit. You're both 
Wait, then you should have some more. I'm afraid I can't get up. Give it to me, please. No, it's not. No. It's yeah. natural when he asks for me. I don't wait on him. Well, it goes against every part of my brain as one day, but I can understand. You're vouching for him. As much as I enjoy Mr. Kyler's company, I need to make sure my own is alive, therefore I can eat. Thank you. Isn't that right? You're the smartest thing to do. And how are you faring? You're going to be crippled. No. Good. Went for a while, but I'll be okay. I've just the wound in my back. That's the problem. Mr. Kyler, I have some water for you. Save you up. <laughs> we could have used your mace swinging skills there, friend. Sorry. I'm afraid she's right. I don't think I would have been much use. Spilled most of it. Sorry. Here, I'll get you another one. Thank you. I had fun. I wouldn't say he was lucky, it's just he would have died. Here. Thank you. Don't move too much. That sounds like a personal problem, doesn't it? Yeah. Always happy to help. a luxury. You're lucky to be alive. And how are you going to start this chapter, Cade? I wonder. Today I nearly died trying to save a town that's going to kill itself anyway. Blades and weapons that the goblins use because of the size. Are usually poisoned. Save the town. The town was killing each other when we arrived. Did you not realize that? There's blood in your courtyards. That won't wash away. Of course. Of course it was blood. It's leaking down your stairs right now. From this very room. All of the blood of the dead people who actually tried to make a difference. You need to take an eye on the well, bud. And yet you smile, <coughs> as if there's something to be hopeful for. Do I think if want to change or save anymore? I think they should pack their shit and get the fuck out of here. Move, move somewhere where they're going to be more appreciated <laughs> and protected. <laughs> Staying here is a death trap. <laughs> Mr. Kate, have you had yeah. water on yeah. four legged things? Yeah, thank you. Yes. Ah, mm. uh, yes. Oh, I'll put a little I bit more right next to your table. Thank you. Unfortunately, I was carrying this with me in the While I went back out there to replenish myself with grief. should probably close your eyes. the strongest thing I have, but it is. Enough to help stabilize. Drink. Has he had one? Oh, Lord. What are you doing? What are you doing? I carried it with me in the event that something happened. But I had to confirm Can with I help you? Eyes what those things were. I don't know, can you? Some sort of goblin so creatures? I I'm right here. I've seen in the I'm past. perfectly fine. You're all banged up, both it's of you. So long. It's rather tragic, actually. And with the recent shock, I had to, I had to rack my mind a little bit. Look at your face. You're a mess. And remember Look at your rag. You have lovely eyes. Thank you, Lord. Go to bed, Cade Fallbrook. You're losing it slowly. Your condition improves. You will live. I went to him and just got what we need. When 
us. But there would so be much more important things going on. Visa, but weren't for me, so it goes both ways. But you will not be able to hunt for a while. Spawn. He yes, is, but I've done. already treated his conditions. I'm about to continue. I stopped from when I had given him a special remedy, only for the sole fact that this one was heavily injured. I believe no one else here will want to have the potion. If anything persists or changes, I'll come to you. Hit me your face, covered in dirt like a child. Let me put away everything you need me to do. I will talk to the captain. Make sure the Forge Master is alright. Lucian as well. Now then, I'll so next time we go you. into the. Thank you so much, Ian Dam. Sorry. You're just alright. Get that strength back. Next time we go in there, you're going to stay by me, okay? That's why I had to go see you. Smith in the sky, yeah? Obviously, you can't defend yourself very well. Smith underground, not Smith in the sky. Where the fuck did he do this? Alright, let me see. Oh, the fuck is this? Oh, the fuck is They didn't kill him right there. Sorry. What does that tell you? You can laugh, you can laugh, means you'll be fine. They let him live. You guys let They wanted him to come back. check on you tomorrow. The only thing that I can think of is this point. Tell them they wanted him to suffer. I'm not going anywhere, I think. They wanted him to go through much of his wounds yeah. and to feel it. Kyla seems to be on the move again. Are you sure he's Great sure going up? one legged Larry. I think they're confident. Hmm? I'm gonna check on Mirandel. <laughs> Getting weird. If you find him, let him know I need to speak to him eventually. Lifford. You as well. That'll come when night falls. Should I be worried? And we can actually talk. Okay. I'll come back. Good luck finding Talking your scribe. The now back there. Be careful on your leg. I don't want to have to take care of both of you Once tonight. Those, the gobbles, the Thank gobbles. you for your consent. Yes. Oh. But yes, oh. of course. Of course, course you're my you kid. I'm supposed to be obsessed with you, remember? Well, there was two goblins right there, but they had about five of those dark-like creatures. I already have. Captain. <laughs> I've already taken care of him, Ian Dill has already given him, given him the potion. I'm getting back to this one now to deal with the current condition as well as dealing with the <coughs> I need some fucking water. I'm a thirsty bitch. Wait, do you guys hear the alert box? No, it should be off. Oh, right. Never mind. 